Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy Mixo Guapo, man. Street certified news. And we back with another one. Y'all, hey, welcome back, man. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate y'all, man. Y'all always rock with us, man. Y'all always tune in. It's been a few weeks since, you know, our last doc that we dropped on the boy King Yellow. Um, if you haven't uh, uh watched that, definitely go check it out. We dropped a doc on, you know, why everybody hate King Yellow. Why, why, you know, the streets and even him himself claim, you know, he the most hated this week's story, man. Um, the sudden rise of the boy Vonna 1700. Uh, we gonna break down, is he really a killer rapper or is he mostly kept? You know what I'm saying? Uh, he definitely speaks about, you know, committing violence against ops and killing ops and stuff like that. And, you know, there have been rumors of you know, videos and different things and situations, you know, from years past that um, people have tried to connect him to. Um, he's never really spoken directly on that video or that case or whatever, but he has said in numerous interviews um, that, you know, he, he gets busy, you know what I'm saying? So we believe that because, you know, his name is Vaughn and he get busy and he from Chicago and all of this stuff and all of these rumors, it really fueled his rise. And you know, that's one of the main reasons why we talking about him today. I would say uh, with name, maybe name only, he's probably one of the biggest rappers in Chicago today. Again, man, hey, without no further ado, man, man, appreciate y'all for rocking with us, man. This week's story, the sudden rise of Vonna 1700, man. Let's get right to it. Born on April 22nd, 2003 in Chicago, Illinois, Davon Meeks, a.k.a. Vaughn of 1700, would be raised as a child on the west side of Chicago in a neighborhood controlled by the Four Corner Hustlers near North Avenue in Laramie. Although Vaughn would spend his early years in Chicago, when Davon was only 14 years old, he moved to Atlanta, Georgia with his mother. While living in Atlanta, Vaughn's family, including his mom and older brother Brick, would regularly travel back to Chicago. Sadly, during his time in Georgia, Vaughn of 1700 would claim his childhood best friend from Chicago was shot and killed, only weeks after visiting and hanging out. Months later, his uncle would also be killed. The death of Vaughn of 1700's uncle and his best friend, he claims was pivotal in his life. In interviews, Vaughn alludes to this when he speaks about losing family to the war between Snow Gang, Holly Grove, and Sang Gang. It's different for me because I lost family. So a lot of people lost friends and shit, but I lost family. Mm. In 2020, with the COVID pandemic in full swing, students were forced to take classes from home. A still relatively young Davon Meeks, aka Vaughn of 1700, would drop out of high school as a junior and decide to run the streets and begin a rap career with his older brother, SBG Brick. So one of the main things about uh, this dude, Vaughn 1700, like I said, man, we really did our research on, bro. And just really looking back into bro's history, um, man, shout out to the dude, DJ Smalls, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we went we went and watched his interview that he did with Vaughn 1700. He did it about a month ago. And seemingly although he kind of seemed like he was asking questions in a weird way like if you go watch that uh interview he was kind of asking questions in a way that it wasn't really entertaining but i think he was really trying to lock down the history and really the background of Vonda 1700 like i said man there's a lot of people that feels like you know he may be the next big rapper from chicago uh with all the rumors and all the different things about you know who he is in the streets um but when you watch that dj smalls interview man um, he kind of contradicts some of the things that Vaughn have said in songs. Uh, like we said in that On Deck song uh, that he released uh, back in, I believe, January 2024. I mean, Vaughn talks about being, you know, a demon and stuff happening when he was 16. Uh, but when he sits down with DJ Smalls, um, you know, he admits, man, when he was 14, he moved uh, to Atlanta, Georgia area. And he's basically lived there his entire life. I know looking into his past and looking into everything, we saw that uh, his first arrest in the city of Chicago was in 2021 uh, at the age of 18, which will kind of go with the story as we break it down. Holes in your Armani suit. My man got shot in his face, busting cells on the roof. 
We is killing the ops, fo. I don't get no fuck. We is killing the ass, fo. In 2021, Vaughn of 1700 will begin taking regular trips with his brother back to Chicago, clicking up with old friends and really jumping head first back into the streets. Culminating in 2023 when Davon Meeks will be arrested by Chicago police for a robbery with a firearm. Whether Vaughn came back out west to get back for past losses or to build up his street image with the backing of his neighborhood, Davon Meeks, aka Vaughn of 1700, began to gain a name in the city as a young rapper to look out for. In early 2024, Vaughn of 1700 will begin to go viral after releasing new music along with the all new look. In earlier years, Vaughn would appear in videos dressed no different than most other young Chicago drill rappers, jeans, tees, and the occasional designer wear. However, in early 2024, Vaughn of 1700 will begin to wear Nike shiesty masks and then is now trademark nerd glasses. It would also be in early 2024 when Vaughn of 1700 will release On Deck, his biggest video to date, currently with over 5.4 million views on YouTube. In the song, Vaughn rapped lyrics that bore a striking resemblance to a March 2023 murder of a Snow Gang Holly Grove op. These alleged admissions would fuel rumors that Vaughn of 1700 was the shooter of Sang Gang Anton, garnering him comparisons to rapper King Vaughn, another known killer from Chicago who really lived what he rapped. In March of 2023, man, it was a murder of a young dude named Anton at a gas station. And the way that man was murdered closely resembled some of the lyrics that the dude Vaughn of 1700 used in his song, you know, that would eventually go viral on deck. Not only was that a fuel to, you know, his rise, but then, you know, of course, internet detectives, they went, they got the FOIA, uh, a request for that gas station, uh, I believe, on the day uh, that the man Anton from Sang Gang was murdered. And they looked at the footage from the gas station. And a lot of internet detectives tried to connect the man shooting out of the driver's side to, you know, uh, Vaughn of 1700. With the attention now put on young Vaughn from over on Wabanzia, Vaughn of 1700 would go on a round of now infamous interviews where he speaks about killing ops and his short stints in Cook County Jail. We doing shit to the ass, but on my dead homie, them niggas like, yeah, that's some shit like from the beginning, like knew them and this shit just grew on for years and years and years and years. We killing their nephews and shit. On that shit to try to put a better image out there for people, but not this, not me, not the kid with the glasses. It's just too serious. Yeah, I'm murdering their ass. Around this time, Vaughn of 1700, now solidified to internet fans as a real rapping killer from Chicago, began getting calls from major record labels. In March of 2024, Vaughn of 1700 was signed a major label deal. Initially, fans believed he had signed to Sony directly, but later it will be found out that Dave Vaughn had signed to a smaller label, Signal Records, ran by former Capitol Records and Columbia executive with deep ties to Sony, Jeff Vaughn. Interestingly, once signed to his deal, and as time went on, those rumors of Vaughn of 1700 pulling up in the SRT Durango and killing ops would be proven to be false. When the news of Vaughn not really being the killer some thought he was was finally made public, most Drill fans would swear they knew the truth. However, the allure of a second rapper from Chicago named Vaughn still menacing the streets was too much to ignore resulting in the sudden rise of the new Vaughn from our West, Vaughn of 1700. Man, hey, we appreciate you for rocking with us, man. It's your boy, MXO Guapo. Street certified news. The street's most reputable source for urban media, man. Like we said, man, this dude Vaughn, he really been blowing up. Um, the music is pretty good. We will admit to that. Hey, the music is, is pretty good. And we believe that, you know, which, when you got a guy who knows how to market, you know what I'm saying? Like he, he, he switched the look up. He did a lot of things and that's marketing. You know what I'm saying? So he knows how to market himself. Um, he has the backing of family and neighborhood so that he's able to claim, you know what I'm saying? Claim what he claimed. Uh, he came back to Chicago in about 2021 and started getting active for a few years. 
Um, and that really was, it made him able to, you know, say certain things and claim certain things when he started to go viral and the music really started to get a buzz in 2024. Um, so like we said, man, um, whether he's a creative player or a cat rapper, we're not going to say that. Um, is he a killer uh, rapper from Chicago that really lives his raps? We can't really say that either, man. And when we see, you know, people believe in stuff like, you know, dudes is running around killing people rapping about it. You know, we just want to put it out there what's real. You see what I'm saying? And what's real is, man, dudes a rapper, man. You see what I'm saying? Hey, shout out Vine to 1700, man. This ain't no video like against him. We really just want to, you know, let people know what was going on, set the record straight. Uh, like I said, completely unbiased. You know what I'm saying? Break down all the information. And look, we appreciate y'all for rocking with us, man. We appreciate y'all for listening. It's your boy, Enrique Show Guapo. Street Certified News. We out. I told the ops I'll take a train and kill a ass. What else we was on, frog? Uh, yeah, a train, a plane, a bike. I said a, a scooter. I was on a scooter. Now I'll take a boat to come kill y'all ass. Where the fuck y'all at? I'll take a boat to come kill y'all bitch ass, nigga. Look at me and frog. Me and frog said a little too sexy. You what, girl? What more of it? More of it? Frog a little sexy on bitty. AD. AD. No, I didn't AD. Okay. Uh, 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 uh